This is Gate City Blue Devil Football on WGAT 1050. Today's game is also being filmed by GCTV and will be replayed on Sunday night at 8.30. Coach Spielhouse writes Blue Devils face Black Diamond District Champion, the Honecker Tigers, coached by Doug Hubbard. It's the Region D Group A Division II Championship game being played at Carl Smith Stadium on the campus of the University of Virginia at Y. This is Larry Shelton along with Mark Peters and Jim Benton. Today, Honecker, last week, Honecker defeated Powell Valley 19-13 in the semifinals, and the Blue Devils defeated Coburn 56-0. Honecker is 7-4 for the season, and the Blue Devils are 9-2. The Tigers are led by a tailback, Jared Honecker, who has rushed for over 1,200 yards. The other tailback, Blake Gent, has rushed for over 900 yards. Alternating fullbacks, Tyler Bailey and Cameron Keene, have rushed for over 500 yards. The Tiger ground game has rushed for about 2,600 yards. Honecker also alternates quarterbacks, Chaz Miller, one of the area's top high school baseball pitchers, with Ty Hall, a sophomore. The Tigers average 249 pounds from tackle to tackle. We'll take a break right now just for the National Anthem. The Blue Devils are led by fullback Joseph Vaughn with 1,239 yards rushing and 18 touchdowns. Joseph has also caught eight passes for 172 yards and one touchdown. Running back Dusty Clark has nine rushing touchdowns and four receiving touchdowns. Sophomore quarterback Nick Bowen is 45-90 for 860 yards and 11 touchdowns. The Blue Devil defensive front four average only 178 pounds, while Honecker's averages, offensive line averages 249 pounds from tackle to tackle. The Blue Devils are averaging almost 33 points per game offensively, while only giving up a little more than 12 points per game. Mark, that's the players who've been instrumental in helping get their teams to this Region D championship game. Question is, can the Blue Devils outman defensive front, stop the rushing attack of Honecker, and use their better balanced offense finally to win the Region D Division II championship? I think without a doubt. It's, uh, it's theirs out there to take. and uh, uh, Without question, I, th I think we're going to break that uh, two-game Region D championship losing streak here today. Uh, Honecker certainly uh, uh, has, is a team that has shown the tendency they have gotten a lot better as the season goes along. I think you said they've won six of their last seven after starting out uh, pretty dismally, really. So, uh, uh, But uh, it's our turn, and I think our Blue Devils will be ready to play. Um, and as in any football game, you got to take care of the ball. Uh, we might be a little bit... Uh, yeah, we might be a little small up front defensively, but it's not uh, its not hampered us too much. And uh, uh, sometimes quickness will beat that size too. And uh, uh, that and the fact that, uh, you know, we're, we're prepared to play this game. I, I think without question uh, uh, today's the day we, we get that. But, uh, you know, you... Uh, you still have to play the game on the field. You can't uh, you can't just roll the uniform out there and expect to uh, that it'll be good enough to win. So we'll we'll have to play well to, to beat Honecker, but uh, I think that's where we're headed later this afternoon. If you'll watch the coin toss, Mark, I'll run through these starting lineups on offense for Honecker at uh, split end number 15, Jordan Dye, left tackle number 60, Dustin Barton, left guard number 50, Zach Bailey. At center, number 68, Dustin Young. Right guard, number 64, uh, Cody Herndon. The right tackle, he's a big one. 6'7", 315-pound senior, Tyler Reynolds. Tight end, Joshua Van Dyke, number 81. Wide out, number 20, Blake Ray. The starting quarterback will be number 7, Chaz Miller. Fullback, number 31, Tyler Bailey. And the tailback will be number 5, Jared Honeck. For the Blue Devils, the same starting lineup as it has been for a number of weeks. Montana Morris at one wide receiver, number 42. Daniel McMurray at left tackle, number 70. Left guard, number 73, Cody Vaughn. Center, number 54, Cody Davidson. Right guard, number 55, Austin Reed. Right tackle, number 68, Austin Dockery. Tight end, Michael Kelton, number 8. 
Uh, the H back could either be Seth Clark number 44 or RC Relic number 34. Tail back will be Dusty Clark number 15. Full back will be number 31 Joseph Vaughn. And the quarterback will be Nick Bourne number 10. Blue Devils have won the toss. So they'll defer their choice to the second half and they will kick off uh, obviously to start the game. City will be kicking from left to the right. Uh, and there is some wind here today. A uh, little bit of a crosswind uh, it appears to be. Uh, shouldn't be directly in, uh, in the face of either, yeah. either team. Yeah. But as uh, the winner of this game this afternoon will advance to play Radford in the state semifinals uh, next Saturday afternoon for that game to be played at Radford. Yeah, Radford defeated Shell Hay last night 14 to 6. So uh, they have already advanced to that position and are waiting on the winner of this game, as you said. And I'm sure their coaching staff is here today doing some scouting. Well, I would imagine so, just like we were last night. I yeah. would guarantee. Kicking off for the Blue Devils is going to be number 10, Nick Bowen. As Homemaker is yet to take the field, so we can tell who's uh, going to be the deep backs for him. Looks like they're going to send back uh, two deep backs. One will be number five on the near side. That will be Jared Homemaker on the far side. Will be number eight, Blake Gent. And we're just about ready to start this Region Two Division or Region D Division Two Championship game. It's Owen approaches the football and hits a line drive. It hits short, and Gent picks it up at about the 16, breaks tackles, and breaks to the outside, and finally brought down at about the 40-yard line. So Homemaker is going to start out in good field position. Yeah, Bowen uh, had to make a stop from his kicker slash safety spot. Didn't get a whole lot of leg into that kick. No, just kind of missed that one. So Homemaker will have it first and 10 at their own 41. And we'll see, they alternate their quarterbacks, alternate their fullbacks, and alternate their tailbacks quite a bit during the game. And the starting quarterback is Chaz Miller. They got uh, a Flanker goes in motion from right to left. They hand off to Honecker, running left, and the Blue Devils hit him behind the line of scrimmage for about a two-yard loss. Yeah, that uh, first man in there was Clark Howington and also on that play. So that's going to bring up uh, second down and 12. Ball back at the 38-39 of Honecker. Just getting the game started. 11.21 to go here. Second down and 12 for the Tigers of Home Lake. It's the Blue Devils' fourth consecutive appearance in the Region League Championship game. Wide outs uh, to the left, one to the right. A pitch it to Home Lake and running to his right, and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage and thrown for another two yard lock. Yeah, Logan Russell, they strung it out really well, and Russell sneaks in and makes a stop. So, Homemaker is running two plays from the line of scrimmage and lost uh, four yards. Brings up third down and 14. Now they go with uh, shotgun for the quarterback, one running back with him, two wide outs on the left to the right. Homemaker drops straight back, throwing a screen pass. It is almost intercepted by Gates City. Yeah, Seth Clark just about got it. Did they catch it even? No, I don't think he caught it, no. but uh, he was right there waiting on it. Yeah. That, uh, he proved that he studied those keys for that play. Back deep for the Blue Devils is going to be Joseph Vaughn punting for... Uh, he's he's going to be, yeah, he should be. Homemaker is going to be, it's going to be Homemaker, I believe. Maybe Miller. No, it's Miller. Chaz Miller. Gets a snap, and the Blue Devils have pretty good pressure. Pretty fire punt that's going to go over Vaughn's head. 
take a roll and it's going to be down at about the two yard line so Homemaker definitely flipped the, flipped the field position there on the blue double yeah. the wind is uh, the wind is blowing obviously right to left because that kick was certainly wind aided Kate Cedar will start out uh, first and ten from their own two yeah, and, and I think the question is, is did he down the bay? He carried the ball into the end zone, certainly. Right. And the Blue Devils are going and, to take uh, time out. And, and I think Coach Houser yeah. wants an explanation on the, uh, yeah, on exactly what you were talking about. Exactly. And we'll take a break and be right back. We're back as the officials are talking over the play that Mark just described when the punt was down it was touched on the set, on the two yard line and the momentum of the player home like player carried him on into the end zone so. yeah so did he actually down it you're right and, yeah. and you know that's that's a high school rule now you, you have to down it in you know in college you can't carry it into the end zone and neither in in the NFL you can't either so I'm, I'm not sure just simply don't know but the officials are really discussing it and uh, it is. It is a touchback. It's going to be called a touchback uh, as a good use of a timeout. Well, you Elfman. know, they may not charge us with one, actually. That's right. And now, obviously, we're going to have another discussion now because Coach Hubbard across the way is going to want to know sure. what the deal is. And he's going to say, uh, of course, Coach Hubbard's contention is going to be that he's he stopped in the field of play. Right. And uh, it was day on and then. Yeah, he's going to go and explain. They didn't charge us for the timeout. Okay. And uh, they didn't charge us for the timeout, and I didn't think they would because. Well, it was their mistake. Yeah, right. Somebody uh, didn't interpret the rule correct. Yeah. So this game is kind of getting off to a slow start because of the officials. Yeah. Not so much about the football let's game, let's just the officials. And these are AOA officials. All you gotta do is say, I made the call, here yeah, we go. Yeah, Calls made, let's play. So the Blue Devils come to the line of scrimmage now yeah, with uh, wing back on each side, split backs and a wide out on the right side. They hand off to the running back out of the backfield and gained a yard or two on the on the play, and that was uh, Blue Devils on the carry Vaughn. So they got it up to the 22. Be second down and eight. Well, they had that backer. They, uh, I think are pretty good size up there. Yeah, they are. They, Again, this time we go to uh, White House to each side, a wing back on the right, one back in the backfield, and that's Vaughn behind the quarterback. We pitch the Vaughn running right, cuts it inside, 25, fights for yardage, and gets brought down at about the 29-yard uh, line. It's going to be a yard short of the first down. Third one, third one. You see the short side line right there? We've got about nothing on the short side. Short side. It'll be third down and one for Gate City at their own 29. Nine minutes to go here. First quarter, no score. Wide out to the left for the Blue Devils. Wink back on each side. Vaughn, the standing tailback. Miller goes in motion from right to left. Vaughn has his first down. 35. Gets a block. 40. 45. 50. 45. 40. 35. Breaks a tackle, and it's going to go all the way into the end zone for a touchdown. Did not step out of bounds. No, he did. It was a great effort, great balance. So the Blue Devils go... Uh, 71 yards. 71 yards. Yeah, that. Uh, He's down to need a break. The, uh, the boys are running back. They've been hard. To yes, he is. Me, Mark. He's, He's a, a running, running back. back. You got that right, Mark. He, he surprises me with his speed after he breaks the line. Yeah, he does a lot of other people, too. Yeah. 
most of the teams he's playing, yeah, exactly. right? Exactly. Point after Let's now. It's empty by Gate City. The snap's good. Hold is good. And the kick is good. So the Blue Devils lead with 8.41 to go. 7 to nothing. We're back at the, the UVA Wise as the Blue Devils have just scored on a 71 yard touchdown by Joseph Fawn. Back deep this time for Honecker. They only got one one deep guy back this time, and that's Jared Honecker, number five. Standing at about his uh, five yard line. This time Bowen hits a high end over end kick. You can tell the wind's caught it a little bit. Field it at about the 17, and finally tackled across the 30 at about the 31. But uh, about 10 yards difference in field position for Honecker. Well, that and uh, yeah, it, it's, we're definitely playing into the wind. Uh, it's, right. It's a little more changed a little bit than what it was earlier. It's a little more. Well, you could tell on the on the punt. On their punt yeah. and, and our kick. So Honecker will have it. They look like we're looking, they look slow running in. First and ten at their own 31. They have two wideouts to the right, one back. They fake the pitch to have a different quarterback in. Pass over to the middle is complete. To number 20, that would be Blake Ray. Passers from uh, number nine, Tyler Hall, who's then a quarterback now. And Honecker has a player in. And while they tend to the injured Honeaker player, we'll take a break. We're back as the Honeaker player is being escorted off the field. The injured player was number 60, Dustin Barton, 6'1, 236. Tackle on the uh, right side. But Honeaker completed the pass for first down and now have the ball at the uh, 42 yard line, their own 42. Coach, let's take a quick look at that cheese because I think that middle back will really go to that. Honecker this time with uh, a wing back on the left, or H back on the left. And Hall hands off on that quick trap to the man up the middle. And on the carry that time was Cameron Keene, who is close to another first down across midfield. Going to be a pickup of about nine, looks like. At the 40, spotted back almost at the 49. Oh, Gonna bring up uh, second down and one. I, didn't get it. Yeah, I, I don't know why they're gonna measure that. He's clearly short of the first down. Yeah. Well, they're gonna bring a change in. It, it looks like it's. Uh, Almost a full yard short. Yeah, that at least a half yard short. And they stretch the chains, and it is about a half yeah. yard. Yeah, about a half yard. So it'll be second down and one for Homemaker. Ball at the Blue Devil. 49 and a half. Two wide outs to the right. High formation this time. Hall hands That's off to the tailback. That's Gent, and he breaks it around the left side. Finally brought down inside the Blue Devil 30 at about the 29 yard line. Yeah, we missed the tackle there. He had a chance to stop it. Would have been a first down, but a big yardage out of it. They spotted at the 28, so Honecker will have it first and 10 at the Gate City 28. And on these last couple of plays, they've done a good job blocking our line, or like you said, missing the tackle. Well, we were up there to uh, make the play, and the Dallas didn't quite get it done. Two wide outs to the right for Honecker. Eye back, formation, back, unbalanced back, line, strong side to the right. They end off the tailback, running to his right, and he gains maybe a yard. On the carry that time is Gent, Blake Gent. Gains maybe one yard down to the uh, 27. Bring up second down and nine. Or Honecker with uh, 7.25 to go first quarter. Gate City leads seven to nothing, but Honecker has the ball at the Gate City 
27 yard line. Wide out to each side. High formation for Honig. Hall drops straight back, gets some pressure. Man's being held. Pices. Yeah, he I got to pass away, but it's incomplete. But goodness gracious, it looks like he was being held. Yeah, I thought we got held from behind there. Yeah. So incomplete pass stops the clock with 6.59. Bring up third down and nine. Seven minutes to go here in the first quarter. Been sitting on top seven now. Old Lake or uh, Alder Nates. This time we go to split backs in the backfield for Old Lake. It's going to be Cameron Keene along with the quarterback. Hawk Gate City jumps off sides. And that's going to give them five yards. Yep. Make it third and four now. Big difference. Oh, yeah, big difference. Third and almost nine and a half for him, really. That'll spot the ball at the uh, 22 yard line, looks like. And we're going to have a timeout asked for by Honecker. We'll take one, too. 6.59 to go here, first quarter. Honecker has it third down and four at the Gate City 22, looks like. Blue Devils lead by a score of seven to nothing. Homemaker goes back to the eye. We got, we got the Blue Devils with uh, about nine men on the line of scrimmage as they hand off to the fullback and he's thrown down for a loss. Hand off to the tailback, Gent, really. Blue Devils played that well, threw in for about a two yard loss back to the 25 yard line. Yeah, Clark and Morris down on that. So it's going to bring up a fourth down now. And about uh, seven. Fourth and six. Scoreboard says with 6.30 to go first quarter. Gate City on top. Homemaker will go for it on fourth and six. They need to get it down close to the 18 yard line for a first down again. As Hall drops straight back, gets the pressure, now breaks to his left. And it's going to be brought down maybe a yard short of the first down. Yeah. Tackled at the 19, needed to get almost to the 18. Blue Devils will take over. Yeah, Morris, Morris hitting pretty stout there. A good lick for a small guy, wasn't it? So the Blue Devils take over on downs on a good tackle that time by Montana Morris. Blue Devils have it uh, first and 10 at the 19. Go to split backs. Wing back set on the left. Miller to the wing back on the left side. They hand off to back in the backfield who gets up to the 20. Maybe got uh, a yard on the play and that was Vaughn on the carry. Spotted to 21. Gain of about two. Brings up a second down and eight. Since he started this drive on their 19th. 5.40 to go first quarter. Gate City leads seven to nothing. Same set. Two tight ends, a wing back on the left, split backs. And off to Clark, running left. Gets blockers in front, gets up across the 30. Has a first down up at about the 33-yard line. Maybe to the 34. He spotted at the 34-yard line. So Dusty Clark picks up a first. The Blue Devils have it at their own 34. Gate City on top, seven to nothing. Five, 19 to go first quarter. Devils again to split backs, wing back on the other side. Hand off on a quick opener this time to uh, Clark, I believe. And he 
the drop down. No, it's Vaughn on the carry. He only gained a yard, so moves it to the 35. Bring up second down and nine for Gates City. Pretty much this whole uh, set here for the Blue Devils, once they took over on downs, has been out of the same formation. This time they split a wide out to the right. Have wing backs on each side and Vaughn standing tail back in the backfield. They hand off to the back in motion. Clark, wing back, gets across the 40 and knocked out of bounds. We'll see where they spot it. has a first down, but we also have a flag on the play. Probably going to have holding on the back side too, it looks like. Yeah, probably way away from the play. It is holding on Gate City. Gate City, instead of having the first down, will be penalized 10, 10 yards, yards back to about the 23. It's going to bring up second and uh, about 21 yards to go. Spotted back from a 32 all the way down to the uh, 22. So it'll be second down, like you said, Mark, about 21, 22 yards to go. Devils this time in the uh, an offset eye. They hand off on a draw to Clark, and he's tackled it after a small gain up to about the 24. Honecker had two players standing right there waiting on him. That linebacker was standing in behind the guy Austin got. He was hiding from both. Be third down now in about 20 for the Blue Devil. 3.55 to go. First quarter, Gate City leads the Homemaker Tigers by a score of 7 and 9. Devils go shotgun with a wing back on the left, two backs in the backfield along with Bowen. They hand off to Clark, running right, breaks one tackle, breaks another tackle, gets up across the 30 to about the 32 yard line, but it's going to be way short of its first down. We'll ring up fourth down and long yard. It's about uh, maybe about 13. And Gate City will uh, send in the punt team back deep for Homemaker. It's going to okay. be on the trap. number that, six, that Trey Bunn. On the near side, on the far side, it's going to be Shea Bunn. Miller will do the punting for Gate City. Snap is good. Homemaker comes with a little pressure. Miller gets off a wobbly punt. Just going to hit at the 41. Take a Gate City bounce. Roll inside the 30. 40, 40 on the track. And it'll be down at about the 26 yard line opponent. So, Blue Devils leading 2.48 to go. First quarter, 7 0. Yes, sir. Back on defense again. Homemaker had a pretty good drive going. Yeah, they had a good drive. Let's be able to stop. On the waggle, it looked like they had three people over here. Had, we, we kicked on the end and had a guy high They have used uh, both quarterbacks already, two different tailbacks. In the game this time is a starting tailback, Homemaker. Jerry the Homemaker. And back at quarterback, I think, is Chaz Miller, number seven. Fullback is Bailey, I believe, number 31. Miller drops straight back, looks, gets some pressure, rolls to his right, now takes off down the field and is brought down after he might have gained a couple yards. And Derek Miller able to finally run him down. He had the whole wide side of the field to run to, and Blue Devils did a good job by really holding him to that much. Ball spotted at the uh, maybe the 28. Brings up second down and eight. Back to an offset eye with a wing back. Two wide outs to the left. They fake a pitch handoff to that fullback again. They run that play a time or two, and this time the Blue Devils did a better job than he did the first time. They shut it down after a gain of a couple yards. Yeah. That's 
be about uh, third down and four to look yeah, like, maybe. Three, three and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Probably third and three. They need to get to the uh, 36, just a little over the 36 for a first down. Ball spotted at the 33 yard line. Two wide outs to, uh, to the left. And they run it on an opposite, I mean, on an option, not an option play, but a handoff to the weak side. And the Blue Devils play it well and bring him back down for a loss. On the carry was Honecker that time. Yeah, Seth Clark just waiting. Made the stop. That's 25. That's 25. 25. A little bit. Only lost about a yard on that, but it's going to be fourth down now. Miller is back to do the punting. Snap to Miller. As Blue Devils, Blue Devils come from the block and rough the kicker. As Vaughn. Yeah. Catches a football, but Gate City just a little bit at a bad angle and, and hit the punter after he punted the football. That's 15 yards and a first down for uh, Owen Acre. I mean, we just, just flat out ran right into him. Yeah. It's not much more you can say about that. So. They'll mark off the penalty, and it's going to be only a five-yard penalty. Wow. Running into the kicker. Uh, it still gives them a first down. Yeah, it's still going to be a first down, but I don't know what you got to do to get roughed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Puts the ball on the, uh, what, 38? The first down and 10 at the home acre 30. Eight yard line. Back to the eye, wide out the east side. That's home. Pice over the middle yeah. is complete up across midfield for our first down. Yeah. Pice complete that time to uh, the fullback Bailey. Got sucked up looking for the run. And is that only the fullback just went right by. So it'll be first and ten for Honecker at the Blue Devil 46. Must be another flag. Yeah, it's roughing the passer against the Blue Devils. That's 15 more. So the Blue Devils are shooting their septum foot here. Roughing the kicker and roughing the passer. Gives Honecker a first down inside the 31, we'll call it at the 30 yard line of Gates City. With only 6.6 .6 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Okay, we'll have quarter right here. We'll have quarter. And the quarter's going to run out probably before Homemaker even snaps the ball. As they come to the line of scrimmage, and that's the end of the first quarter. After one quarter of play, it's Gates City 7, Homemaker nothing. Back at Carl Smith Stadium on the University of Virginia at Wise. Homemaker will have it to start the second quarter. First and 10 on the Blue Devils 31 yard line. Homemaker ran three plays and punted, and there was a roughing, running into the kicker penalty, which gave my first down. And then on the last play, they complete the pass, and Gates said you're rough to pass or so. They've put. Yeah, they're in a high formation here. Strong side to the left. And off to the tailback, and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage. No gain. That was Homemaker on the carry. Now, I'm not the, I'm not very good at this thing, but you got to remember, you got a Homemaker football team, and you got a Homemaker at tailback. So, well, <laughs> just overlook me, or just think Homemaker. But a loss on that play of about two brings up. Uh, Second down at 12 for Honecker. Back at the 32 of Gate City. Two wide outs to the left for Honecker. Standing tailback is Jerry Honecker. 
The Blue Devils have pressure, but the quarterback is able to get the pass off, and it is broken up by Gate City. It's more so broken up by Honecker, I yeah. think, than it was. <laughs> On the coverage is Montana Morris. Had it played pretty good. Yeah. Pass is down. Montana intercepts his rhythm. Yeah. Yeah, the receiver turned defensive. So that'll stop the clock, bring up third down to 12 for our Honecker. We had him in the backfield, just couldn't wrap him up. No, couldn't, couldn't quite get him. Checking in for Honecker number 15, Jordan Dye, at a wide out spot. He'll split out wide to the left, out wide to the right. It's going to be uh, Jeremiah Morgan, high formation. Honecker takes a snap, rolls to his left, gets some pressure. Now the Blue Devils. Missed the tackle again. Pass over the middle is incomplete. Good defense by Gate City's uh, Tyler Burt. So it's going to bring up now fourth down and 12. So obviously they'll go for it. I mean, yeah, went for it a while ago. When you imagine that uh, every opportunity they have in Gate City territory on fourth down, they're going to go for it. So a number of players come into the Homemaker lineup. As they got a whole lot. Of Homemaker's going to have to call a timeout here because they had too many plays. They take timeout. We'll take one. Too. Minutes to go, second quarter. Fourth and 12 for the Homemaker Tigers at the Blue Devil 32 yard line. Gate City leads by a score of 7 to nothing. Honecker this time comes to the line of scrimmage with uh, two wide outs to each side. Honecker will, Jerry Honecker will, uh, quarterback will be back in the shotgun. It put the uh, flanker in motion, fake it, hand off to him on a double reverse. And the Blue Devils do a good job of bringing him down after a loss of a couple more yards. So Honecker for the second time in the ball game turns the ball over to Gate City on down. So Gate City now will take over at their own 35-yard line. First and 10. Devils go with two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Bowen in the uh, shotgun. They had off to Vaughn, the standing tailback, and he was able to gain maybe three yards on the play up to the 38. Kind of a slow developing play there, I thought. But Gate City picks up three as the Blue Devils tried to uh, spread them out with those wide outs and then test the middle running. Third down and three. Offset eye this time with the fullback on the right side. Unbalanced line, strong side of the right. Pitch to Clark around the right, right side. Gets a bunch of yardage down in the Honecker territory. At about the 46 yard line. Good blocking on that play and Gate City in business at the home record 46, first and 10. Seaver Elliott, uh, tied in on the right side, double wide outs this time on the left. Offset eye as Bird goes in motion. A pitch to Clark. He gets inside the 40, down to about the 38. It's going to be a couple yards short of the first down. It'll be second down and about almost three for Gate City. As the Blue Devils in this series have run a little wide on the Tigers. Split out wide to the right for Gate City. It's going to be Cal. This time, Clark is under center at quarterback. Bowen goes in motion. They hand off to Vaughn. He breaks a tackle and gets down close to the 30-yard line. Has a first down for Gate City. 
for the Blue Devil Shifty Dusty Clark under center at quarterback. Hand off to Devon. He picks up about seven, gets a first down. Moved it from a 38 down to the 31. The first to 10, Blue Devils with 9.05 to go, second quarter. Again, uh, Clark will be in a shotgun at quarterback this time. Two wing backs, Clark on the keeper, and Honecker had it sp uh, smelled out pretty good, but Clark's able to fight through some interference, some tackles, and get down to the 20 for, for a first down. Pulled a little magic out of that one because he they, did, they should have had him stop. They had two. He just kind of split the two yeah. guys there ready to tackle him. And it'll be first and 10 at the Honeaker 20 now for Gate City. And Dusty Clark will come out after that play. Nothing wrong, just needs a break. And Blue Devils will go with uh, Miller and a wing back. And Seth Clark at another wing back, and they hand off to Vaughn, running left, big hole, 15. In behind the block, all the way in the end zone, touchdown for 21 yards out, Joseph Vaughn. Good running, but good downfield blocking. We got some people blocked downfield. Miller had a really good block downfield. Got another one, and Vaughn knew how to run off those blocks. Carries it on in. Twenty-one yard touchdown by Joseph Vaughn puts the Blue Devils on top, thirteen to nothing. Blue Devils now attempt the extra point. Snaps good. Kick is up, and the kick is no good. Off to the right, I think. Yep. So Gate City leads thirteen nothing. Eight twenty-five to go first down. We're back. Eight twenty-five to go here in the uh, first half. As the Blue Devils have just scored their second touchdown, got on top 13 to nothing as we missed the extra point. Quite a bit of wind down on the field. Back deep for Honecker. It's going to be Jerry Honecker. And this is a high end over end kick. It's going to be fielded by Honecker at the 10. Looks for blocking to the outside. Uh -oh. Gets a block. It's up to the 30. 35. Fights through tackles and gets close to the 45 yard line. So a good run back that time. I said, yeah, it was Honecker on the carry. So they're going to spot him down at the 43-yard line. The Honecker 43. Be first and 10 for the Tigers with 8.14 to go. They trail Gate City by a score of 13 to nothing. The sun has popped out here at Carl Smith Stadium. Not warmed it up a lot outside. No, no, it had pretty good breeze going on out there. Wide out to each side. Eye formation. Hall, the quarterback. Now he's going to be hit sack behind the line of scrimmage by Russell. Now Russell throws him down at the uh, 36 yard line. That'll make it uh, second down and about. I don't know, 18, something like that? Yeah, about. 17. Yeah, that play was blown up from the start. Yeah. Ty Hall, the quarterback in this series, and the officials have a timeout here for just a second. As we're ready to go now. Hall under center. Wing back set on the left, two wide outs to the left. They pitch to the tailback, and we miss a tackle, miss two tackles, and finally bring him down at the 45 yard line. We had him tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, we're at the line at of scrimmage. At the line, yeah. Just fanned at him with an arm. Got to tackle better. So that brings up third down now, and about seven for Honey. At their own 40. Six yard line. About a 10 yard gain on that play. Still heavy third, at least seven. Wide out to the left, wide out to the right, off formation. As Hall drops straight back, runs to his right. 
And breaks a tackle, but is brought down. Well, it's going to be close to a first down. I believe he got it. I believe the last little twist he made might have picked him up a first down. They'll look at it. And I think you're probably right, Mark. It well, looks like he needed to get down to the Blue Devil 47. That's close. And that's... Uh, that looks to me like that's where they've spotted. Yeah, I believe he's got the first down. As the chains are going to be brought in. Keith City has not done an excellent job on tackling here so far in the first half. They've uh, broken a lot of tackles. Don't make her in. Stretch the chains and it is first and ten, Homemaker. At the Gate City 47. 6.33 to go here in first half. Gate City leads on Acre by a score of 13 to nothing. Checking in the lineup for Home Acre, number 82, Jeremiah Dye. <coughs> Tailback in this uh, set is going to be number 8, Blake Gent. That balance lines from side to the left. A hand off to Gent running left. And a good tackle by the Blue Devils of uh, 44. That would be uh, Seth, Seth Clark. Clark. No gain on the play. Brings up second down to 10. So far, I believe every time they come up with that unbalanced line, they've run to the strength, haven't they? It'll be second down and 10 for the whole Naker Tigers. All at the Blue Devil 47. Wink back on the right. They pitch it to the tailback. Now you got a, a pass over the middle. That is incomplete or down the right side. Pass incomplete. Pass was uh, thrown by number eight, Blake Gent. But the Blue Devils did a good job breaking it up. Pass intended for number 20, Blake Ray. Yeah, that one, we, uh, we defended that one pretty well. They obviously have seen that quite a bit yeah. on film. Bring up third down to 10 with the clock stopped. 526 to go here. First half, Kate City on top, 13 to nothing over the Hallmaker Tigers. Two wide outs to each side. And the uh, shotgun. A haul on a quarterback draw is thrown behind the line of scrimmage for a loss back in Tiger territory at the 49. Russell in on the stop that time. Don't rush. Don't rush. 25. Joe's back. Why's he putting Montana back? Why's he putting Montana back? Blue Devils may be a little bit short here. As Montana Morris is going to drop back to receive this punt. By Chaz Miller, high snap. And actually, the punt was by, yeah, Chaz Miller. Takes a hop at the 20. Takes a home like her bounce, or he Gate City bounce. Did he not back. touch the ball back up here? He touched it at the 21. Yeah, he touched the ball at the 21 yard line. Yeah, we got we got an official right here that's, yeah. that's right on it. Actually, he, touched it at about the 23. Yeah, that's what I thought he, he batted it. So, Gate City will have it first and 10 at the 23. Yeah, they're going to spot it at the 22. Yeah, we got it, we got it. 428.9 to go here in the first half. Gate City leads home like everybody score 13 to nothing. Devils come with... Uh, Wide out to each side. Miller, wide, right. High formation, unbalanced line, strong side to the right. Pass complete to Vaughn. Up across the 35, 40. Down the sideline, midfield. And finally drug out of bounds in Homemaker territory at the, well, back a little bit at the 44-yard line. Good 
good uh, good fight carried out that time by Dusty Clark. Yep. Kind of opened that play up on that little pass to the back out of the backfield, Joseph Vaughn. It's first and 10 Blue Devils at the Honecker 40. Yeah, well, the ball's rolling. We're going to have to. Yeah. What about the 44? Quite a bit of wind out there. Yeah. Keith City gets a break about a half a yard on that. Yeah. We'll take it. After Jeter spots. Wide out to each side, wing back on the right. One back in the backfield. Pass complete to Clark with blockers in front. 40 down inside the 40 at about the 36 yard line. Throw it a little bit, makes it running a little easier. Uh-huh, that's a gain of about eight. Should bring up second down and two. Be second down and two with 3.56 to go. Wide outs again to each side. Seth Clark on the near side. Montana Morris on the far side. I formation. Handoff draw to a wide open Dusty Clark who's going to take it into the end zone. Touchdown from 37 yards out. 36 yards out. Yeah, we just blocked them last time. You know, I said hey, earlier that uh, well Joseph was a running back. Yeah, he's also a blocker. Isn't he? Yeah, well, that guy just scored a pretty good running back, too. <laughs> yeah, pretty, he's not bad. He ain't bad either. Blue Devils going to call timeout. You're probably discuss uh, hey, going for Mitchell's two. Guard. Mitchell's going to go to guard. Mitchell's going to go to guard. Love that tackle. Love out there. Blue Devils line up to go for two as Bowen throws a pass that is short, but Clark stretches into the end zone. And he said the ball didn't, oh. he oh. said the ball didn't break a plane as uh, oh, no. Seth Clark, they come up and stopped him short, but he stretched the football out and looked like from here it surely broke the plane. But anyhow, two point conversion, no good. Gate City leads 19 nothing. we'll be back. Back at Carl's. Smith Stadium where the Blue Devils prepare to kick off after scoring a third touchdown here in the first half. Come up short on uh, missed the extra point and also came up short on the two point conversion. Devils lead 19 to nothing. Back deep for Honecker is number five, Jared Honecker standing at his five and this time Logan Bird kicks off a high end over end kick at Honecker feels back at his two up to the five, 10, 15 and the Blue Devils bring him up in the air and slam him down at the 16 yard line. Yeah. A little better kick coverage that time. A little better kick to cover yeah. that time. Honecker yeah. takes over to her own 16. Three and a half minutes left. Keith City with only we have two timeouts left. I think we do. Homemakers had the ball four times, punted twice, and turned it over on down twice. And it'll be first and 10 for Homemaker Drone 16 with I formation. Long count. Homemaker rolls to his left, gets some pressure, throws a pass too high and incomplete. Pass was intended for his. Number 82, that would be uh, Jeremiah Dye, who had checked in at a wide out. Well, the thing is about throwing the ball incomplete. Stops the clock, doesn't yeah. it? That plays into Gate City's hands right there. Honecker going in to the wind also. So. They choose to throw it incomplete yeah. again. We can get them three and out. We'll get it back in great field position. Chaz Miller, a quarterback for this time for Honeck. Unbalanced line, strong side to the right. They put the wing back in motion. They hand off on a trap to the fullback, and the Blue Devils have seen that play before. They stop him at the line of scrimmage, no game. And then I'd say if we hold them right here, we'll take a timeout. Probably. I'd say most definitely. 
They give him a one yard gain on that up to the 17, so it'll be third down and nine. Mark, you were talking about the quickness of Gate City's defensive front against the size of their offensive front. The quickness has won out. Yeah, it would really they, be they, even they, a bigger deficit had we tackled better. Well, they, uh, you know, they, they got us a couple of times, but we. Third down and nine, they're in the shotgun. Homemaker rolls to his right, looks, gets some pressure, breaks one tackle, but not another one. Now call timeout. Finally brought down at the original line of scrimmage at the 17. Good coverage that time by the defensive backs of Gate City. And Gate City takes a timeout. Two twenty-six to go here in the first half as uh, Gate City leads Homemaker by a score of 19 to nothing. It's fourth down and... Uh, Nine for Honecker. Ball back at their own 17. Back to receive the punt for Gate City is going to be Joseph Vaughn standing at uh, the Honecker, about the Honecker 46 yard line. Kicking for Honecker will be number seven, Chaz Miller. And we have a timeout call this time by Honecker. And we'll take one too. 2.26 to go. Fourth down and 10 basically for Honecker and they're going to line up uh, well what they're doing is spreading us out so we can't uh, I rush guess the they, passer. Yeah, I, guess I mean they, rush the kicker right? I guess they thought that we were going to have punt block. Honecker gets a uh, snap and uh, it is blocked uh, anyhow. More, Blue more. Devils block it and <laughs> it doesn't make any difference it's going to be Gate City's ball inside the 5 at the 4 and it should be a should be a flag on the play for a personal foul because uh, Honecker slammed the ball down. Well, it'll be a, it's unsportsmanlike. Uh, unsportsmanlike for spiking the football. Montana Morris is the man that blocked the punt. Yeah. He's going to have it first and goal on about the th I'm two not, and a half. I'm not sure that Morris didn't take the up back and, and, and push him back into the ball to block it. Uh, uh, that he, was a he, heck of an effort by Morris. I mean, a dandy effort by Morris to, to get it blocked and then and recover it too or to get the uh, punter on the ground. Ball will be spotted, uh, well, it, I would think a two yard line at least. Yeah, yeah we really weren't trying to block that. No, we didn't have the punt on. We got uh, the coach right yeah, here beside yeah, us. They, they, they didn't have the punt Morris block on. just made the play. Yeah. I mean, he just took you up back and drove him back into the punter. So Gate City takes over on the Honecker two-yard line, first and goal. Devils are in a full house backfield with uh, Nick Bowen under center. 2.15 to go. And all that formation change, but Honecker didn't have a thing on their punt. Devils put the right half back in motion. That's Vaughn. They hand off to Seth Clark out of the full back spot. Goes into the end zone for a two-yard touchdown. Yeah, we are wearing them out there. Yep. They, you can tell they're great. Seth Clark gets on the board. The Blue Devils will again go for a two-point conversion. They'll ask to have the ball spotted on the left hash. They have that option. Yep. So you'd think it's a, it'd be a play to the wide side. <laughs> well, it was the last time, and I thought we got in, but we'll find out. Blue Devils will go for two. They lead 25 to nothing over the Tigers of Honecker. They go to the full house. Two tight end. Now, Clark goes in motion. Head off to Vaughn, and he's going to be stopped short. Uh, I think we missed the block. Yep, so. so that will make the score 25 to nothing, 211 to go first half. We'll be back. Back at Carl Smith Stadium, we were. We've only got 2.11 to go here in the first half. Gate City on top of the Homemaker Tigers by a score of 25 to nothing. Blue Devils preparing to kick off after a two yard touchdown run by Seth Clark. Two point conversion, no good. Back deep for Homemaker is going to be number five, Jared Homemaker, standing inside his five back at about his two. And Logan Bird again will kick off for the Blue Devils. This time a high oh, yeah. end over end kick. It's going to go all the way in the end zone for a touchback. So Homemaker will take over on their own 20. Well, that stops the return. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Home Laker will have it first to 10 at their own 20. And Mark, you said you had noticed that they were dragging a little bit. Yeah, they're beginning yeah. to feel the wear and the tear. That's one thing about a bigger team. They should tire out quicker. I know I'm big and I tire out pretty quick. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> There's way too many areas and places <laughs> I could go with that, but I won't. Ty Hall in a quarterback now. They go to a power eye. They hand off again to that fullback or wingback at the time. I'll let set. And I don't think he got anything. That's Bailey, I believe, on the carry. Be no gain. Be second down to nine, or second down to ten, rather. Down to a minute 45 to go. Gate City with one timeout left. They're gonna they're gonna use as much time as they can to try to run the clock down on Acre. Again, back to the power eye. Tailback is Honecker in this set. Hand off to Honecker running left. He almost fumbled the football. Gains about three up close to maybe the 24 yard line, 25. Gate said he will ask for a timeout. We'll take one take. 121 to go here in the first half. Gate City calls a timeout as Homemaker has the ball third and 10 after that, that five yard gain by Homemaker up to their own 25. So if Homemaker runs a play and doesn't get a first down, still should be a little time left for the Blue Devil. Homemaker will line up with uh, that power eye formation again as uh, Honecker is the standard tailback. Well, that's Honecker. I'd run the ball here and not throw Oh, yeah. Run the clock up. And they do. Hand off to Honecker running left. Blue Devils bring him down after a couple yard gain up to about the uh, 27 yard line. But it will force them to punt. Yeah. And give you a chance to go for a punt block if nothing else. Or return one. Let's see the Blue Devils, Blue Devils send Joseph Vaughn back. Well, with them punting into the wind, yeah, we right. Who knows? Uh, take a decent return and maybe a quick pass, set up a field goal. Who knows? True. We didn't think we we're going to block that last one. Either. There's a snap, and the punt is a line drive punt that hits. And Vaughn picks it up, but he's 38, up the sideline, breaks a tackle. He's got a wave in front of him. One man to beat, beats him. <coughs> Cuts it back to the inside. Touchdown, no flag. Joseph Vaughn from what was that, 54? 54 yards, I believe, no flag. Makes the score 31 to nothing now. Gate City on top. Scored 24 points here in the second quarter. And the Blue Devils this time will uh, kick the extra point. As the snap's low, Logan Berg kicks it up and the kick is good. So the Blue Devils lead Homemaker by a score of 32 to nothing. 20 point nine to go here in the first half as Gate City has just uh, forced Honecker to punt. And Joseph Vaughn, I got him for a 54. It may be longer, it may 50, be shorter. 58, I believe. 58? What they, what they say. Okay. Yeah, let's put Gate City on top by a score of 32 to nothing. And Bird kicks off, a high end over end kick. It is fielded at the one, up to the 10, 15. Finally brought down short of the 20 at about the 18, 19 yard line. Let's see where they spotted 19, I think. Gillenwater on the tackle for the Blue Devil. 
and he spotted that the Honecker 19. I believe if I was a Honecker, I'd just take a knee. 13.8 here left in the first half. And a quarterback will be Chaz Miller, number seven. As they have rotated their quarterbacks, rotated their fullbacks, rotated their tailback. Jerry Honecker still at the tailback spot. Double. Per eye, they hand off to Honecker running to the right side, and he's brought down after he gets over the 21, uh, 20 to about the 21. And that should be the last play of the first half. Gate City will lead after one half of play, 32 to nothing over the Honecker Tigers in this uh, Region D Division II championship game. Back at Carl Smith Stadium on the uh, campus of the University of Wise. About ready to start the second half. Blue Devils lead the Homemaker Tigers by a score of 32 to nothing. Gate City won the opening toss and deferred their choice to the start of the second half. So the Blue Devils should be receiving the kickoff from Homemaker. As the <coughs> Homemaker's team is already on the field. Blue Devils have yet to come out. And it looks like... Uh, Trying to see who exactly does the place kicking for Honecker. I think it's number 33, Mackenzie Phillips, who uh, does the kicking for Honecker. Blue Devils will send back deep. Joseph Vaughn and uh, Montana Morris on the near side, Vaughn on the far side. As we're about ready to start this. Uh, Second half of the Region D Division II championship game. And the uh, onside kick that is bouncing around, still bouncing around, and Honecker may have recovered it. Yeah, I believe it did. At about uh, their own 45 yard line. So you can't blame them for doing something like that. It did go 10 yards, but I. We touched it first. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it's their ball. They yeah, the, did not touch it before it went 10 yards until we touched it. Once right. we touch it, that makes it a live ball. Sure does, and that'll give Honecker the ball as they recovered it uh, at their own 46. So, uh, Honecker take over at their own 46-yard line after the onside kick. It'll be first to 10, 11.44, point four to go here in the uh, second half of the ball game, or in the third quarter, rather. They send two wideouts to the left, and the uh, quarterback for Honecker this time is uh, Chaz Miller, number seven, hands off to his tailback, running left, and gets about three or four yards on the carry. Gent on the carry that time, I think. Blake Gent, number eight. Just short of, of uh, midfield, we'll call it a 50. Give him a gain of four, bring up second down and four. Jen stays in a tailback. Two wide outs to the right. Unbalanced line, strong side to the right. Miller hands off again to his tailback. And he spins across into Gate City territory, maybe at the 48-yard line. A couple gained a couple on that play. They spotted at about the 48 of Gate City. Brings up third down and four for Honeck. They need to get it down to the Blue Devil 44. Miller turns around and verifies his play to his fullback and his tailback. Unbalanced line, strong side to the right, two wideouts to the right. Miller again hands off to his tailback and he didn't make it. No. He just barely got back to the line of scrimmage at the 48. Yeah, host to Blue Devils in on that one. So, Honecker so far has. Uh, Pretty much going for it on fourth down, but this time they uh, look to be sending in their punt team. And I'll tell you one thing, I just let them punt it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't send anybody back. I, 
looks like they've got more than 11 in the huddle. Too many in the huddle. They, they break a huddle with about 14 players. Well, more than that. <laughs> no, they broke a huddle with two full teams. Yeah, <laughs> no penalty there. Wait, wait, they're tight, they're tight, they're tight. Going to the going to the yeah, I don't. Down, down, ball's down. loose, and the Blue Devils stop him. Stop him short of the first down. Snap the up back. Why do we drop the flag for maybe a motion penalty, possibly? Maybe. You would think if they want to break a huddle with all those yeah, players, would've. he'd have done that earlier. Yeah, he would have done it when they did it. Might have been a motion penalty, actually. Let's see what he says. I can tell you he didn't get a first down yet. Illegal procedure. Yeah, I that must be a legal formation. I, th I think maybe what it was, Larry, the punter was walking towards the line of scrimmage before the ball was snapped. Wouldn't that be illegal? Mike? I would think so. Yeah. That's what I would think. But anyway, he said he'll have it first down. That's the main thing. So the Blue Devils take over on their own 46. 920 to go here. Check over, check over, check Power over, out formation over. for the Blue Devil. And off to the tailback. And I think that might be Clark on the carry. It was. We only gained maybe two on the play. Up to the uh, Blue Devil 48. Bring up second down and eight. Devils this time split uh, a wide out to the right side. Cal unbalanced. unbalanced line, strong side to the right for Gate City Power Eye formation for the Blue Devil. And off to an up back Miller, and he didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. He lost about a yard on that play. Wow. <laughs> kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Oh, the devil lose one. Makes it uh, third down and eight now. Ball at the uh, 40, 47, Gate City 47. Need to get it to uh, up to 44. Oh, no. Vaughn goes in motion. Fake it, run the option right. Clark at quarterback tries to get around the corner and gets uh, brought down at about the 48, 49 yard line of Honda. Well, they spotted all the way down to the 47. One, two, three, one, two, three. Brings up fourth down and three, and the Blue Devils will uh, maybe send the punt team in. Nope. Devil's going to go for it. You're on fourth down and three. Bowen in the shotgun. On the long side. And the Blue Devils move. Devils are going to pass it, but the up back Morris and the, also the flanker bird move. So now Gate City will send in the punt team. As Russell will come in to do the snapping. Miller would do the punting for Gate City. Drake Miller drops back to punt formation. Back deep for Holnakers, number six, Trey Bond. Bun. Trey Bun. Standing inside his own 20. 7 10 to go here. Third quarter. Gate City on top, 32 to nothing. Gets off of him. Pretty good punt that Bun feels that he's 16 running <laughs> left. Is hit behind a lot of scrimmage. Knocked off balance with Seth Clark. Loses his footing and falls back to the 10 yard line. Yeah, Seth hit him and knocked him well. If you multiply that. They're going to give him his forward progress <laughs> up to the 15. He, he never got to the 15 <laughs> in the first place. Oh, a very generous spot. Wherever he got hit, he landed inside the 10. But 
I could maybe see giving it to him at the 11. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'm going to spot it at the homemaker 15. <clears throat> Bun in a quarterback, uh, Ty Hall in a quarterback now for homemaker. They alternate these quarterbacks, fullbacks and tailbacks. They put the wing back on the left side in motion. Head off to the uh, tailback. Now, Blue Devils are all over that. They smother him in the backfield. They're at the 11 now. And Gent, I believe, on the carry. Yeah, that was Blake Gent on the carry. He lost uh, forward back to the 11. Yeah, maybe the 12. Uh, maybe. Loss of three brings up second down and 13 with 6.36 to go, third quarter. Gate City on top, 32 to nothing over the Homemaker Tigers. The Black Diamond District Champion. Black Diamond gets a little tougher next year. This addition of Grundy. at least one team. Grundy. Grundy, yeah. High formation again. Two tight ends this time. Uh, quarterback drops straight back, gets some pressure, and is, well, breaks the tackle, and finally gets out of bounds at about the 16-yard uh, line. Gained about four on the play. But it's still going to bring up a fourth and long. Miller was given a hard chase. Uh, third down along, my fault. Be third down at about eight, nine for uh, home night. Checking into the lineup, uh, Ty Hall again. <laughs> Stay in the eye, wide out to each side. Hall drops straight back to his left, gets pressure, oh. and is knocked down inside the 15 at about the 14 yard line. Mm. Derek Miller on the tackle that time for the Blue Devils. Now it brings up fourth down at about 11. Down to 5.38 to go here in the third quarter. Gate City on top, 32 to nothing. Back deep to receive the punt. Standing at the homemaker 40 is uh, Joseph Vaughn. Chaz Miller would do the punting for homemaker. Standing in his own end zone. Snap. And the punt is almost blocked. It's off the side of his foot. And it hits at the 36, bounds to the 40, and is down at the 43-yard line of uh, Honeaker. So Blue Devils will get field position, take over at the Honeaker 43-yard 40, line. With five minutes, one second, and seven-tenths of a second. Okay. <laughs> it's at the first and ten at the Hallmaker 43. Comes out with a full house, two tight ends. That corner is tied. He's almost inside that outside back. They fake to the fullback. <laughs> pitch it back to Clark. I really, I don't know. I don't think it was a fake. Not. I think it was just uh, <laughs> the guy hit the fullback and. And Bowen did a good job just getting it out and pitching to Clark. Yeah. And Clark picks up 10 or 11 yards for a first down down to the 30, 32 yard line. So gain of 11 on a play that almost looked busted. Now that could have gone from disaster to, to a first down, or it did go from potential. So the Blue Devils have it first and 10 at the Honeaker 32. This time a wing back on the right, split backs. It's Clark and Vaughn in the backfield. Wing back goes in motion. Bowen drops straight back, looks, looks, has plenty of time. Throws a long pass down the field that is double covered. Incomplete. Pass intended for Tyler Bird. Incomplete. As Holdmaker did a good job covering that play. Well, that makes it second down and 10 from a homemaker 32. 
and I guess Mark in this uh, Region D game, does the clock continue to run if you get a 35 yeah. point lead? I think that's probably National Federation, I would imagine. I guess. I'm not sure. I'd like to find out here. <laughs> Just <a> player. <laughs> yeah. Blue Devils go to the eye with uh, Dusty Clark is standing tail back here. Wing back on the right. Goes a motion left to right. And hand off to Clark running right. He has some blockers in front. Makes a good move. Gets inside the 20. Finally brought down inside the 15. At about the, uh, let's see where they spotted. 13, I think. So a 19-yard run by Dusty. Makes it first and 10 at the Homemaker 13-yard line. Four sixteen to go. Third quarter. Blue Devils on top, thirty-two to nothing. Devils this time come out with Clark splits out wide to the right. Counting wide to the left. Wing back Seth Clark on the right side. Running back in the backfield. Vaughn Bowen under center with an unbalanced line stroke side to the right. With the wing back on that side. Watching the play clock. And they hand off on a draw to Vaughn, who didn't get much. They stacked him up after a gain, maybe, well, maybe no gain at all, back to the 13th. That draw, you got to set it a little bit better than that, don't you? Just a bit. He's second down to 10 now for Gate City at the Homemaker 13. Devils taking plenty of time watching the uh, play clock on the scoreboard on the far end of the stadium. The only thing that works on that scoreboard is a play clock. Full house this time. Clark goes in motion out of the left high back spot. Now, Bowen looks, passes, complete to Clark inside the five. First and ten is about the three yard line. Yep, Big City executed that pretty well. Three-yard line, first to go. Let's see where they actually end up spotting. Spotted at the three. Ten-yard gain on that pass play. Gives the Blue Devils first and goal at the Homemaker three. Blue Devils come with uh, wing back. On each side, double wing set, both Clarks are in a wing back spot. Now they hand off to Dusty Clark running from the right wing back spot, three yards into the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, Joseph Vaughn just sealed the whole side off, and Dusty able to scoot off his block into the end zone. Well done. So that's Dusty's uh, second touchdown tonight. Today, Logan Bird on to attempt the extra point here. Bird's kick is up, and his kick is good. So the Blue Devils lead Homemaker by a score of 39 to nothing. Two forty-nine to go here in the third quarter. Gate City just scored and went up on Homemaker thirty-nine to nothing. Blue Devils prepare to kick off with uh, Logan Bird back deep. It's going to be Jared Homemaker standing at his about his one-yard line. Bird has driven him one time, dribbling the ball into the end zone. One time at the two, and this time it's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. So, two, uh, two kickoffs today by Logan Bird for a touchback. <clears throat> and Holnaker will take over to her own 20. <laughs> 39 to nothing. Blue Devils lead. <clears throat> so... Unless, 
unless the sun falls out of the sky or something <laughs> equivalent to that. Geek City will advance to next week's semifinal game. Yeah. For the first time in three years when the yep. Region D championship. Yep. Tailback with a uh, throw a pass that is short and incomplete. And to be honest, the Blue Devils receiver Hill had, had, had he played pretty good. Yeah, if he, if, if he had actually stayed with them back out of the backfield and uh, probably been in a better position to catch it. Yeah, you're right. Cut underneath a little bit. So evidently that rule doesn't work, Mark, because the clock stopped 2.42 after that incomplete pie. Well, then there you go. It's kind of like you, kind of like a baseball when you get to a certain level, the 10 run room is way. So. Well, White House to each side, eye formation, and the quarterback is Chaz Miller. Miller drops straight back, screen. looks for a screen that is ice complete, but the Blue Devils have it played pretty oh. good and knock him down behind the line of scrimmage for a two yard lock. That pass, I think, was complete to Blake Gent, the uh, tailback. Oh, bet it was the homemaker, number five. So that brings up third down to 12. Spots the ball back at the 18 uh, upon that. Probably be the last game played or last regional championship played at the Carl Smith Stadium here. I know it will be because there's not going to be region championships anymore. Right. There's not going to be any region. As the pass is long and complete. Pass was intended for uh, Trey Bunn. A little too long and incomplete. I thought Gate City had real good coverage. I don't like her fans are wanting Pace interfering. I don't think coaches are too, well. Pace is uncatchable. We'll give them that. Pass was out of bounds, but even if they get that, they're still down 39 nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Homemaker will have to punt. Vaughn will drop back to the homemaker 45. And if I was, uh, if I was Joseph, as soon as he gets ready to kick his thing, I take off running to the near sideline because Miller gets a low snap, but still able to get off the punt off the side of his foot. Hits at the 40, and block one of your sand shots. Dies dead on the 40. That's pretty good. That doesn't happen much on the. Uh, not on artificial turf, uh, does it? Not on, not on that old type of stuff anyway. Right. So the Blue Devils will take over at their own. Or at uh, Homemaker's 40-yard line. It was a little, a little time getting set up here. Wing back on the left hand side. Now the wing back on the right. Pice from Bowen was incomplete. Really not a uh, receiver in the area. I think, I think the receiver might have run the wrong route. Now Pice intended. I guess Miller was the closest guy. Only man on that side, so incomplete pass stops clock at 124, and Gates will have it second down to 10. From a whole acre 40, just short of 40. I think we're going to try that play again. No, we got double wide outs on the right side. Wing back on the left. Wide out on we the don't left. Have a clue, coach. We don't know. Snap, fake, hand off to Vaughn who gets inside the 40 down to about the 38-yard line. Gains a couple. We'll bring up a long third down here. Uh, he spotted at the 38, gained two, brings up third down and eight. Blue Devil's showing a few different formations here, I guess, for all these... Uh, 
for Bradford. It was probably your yeah. yeah. Scout full house this time. Two tight end. Bowen looks at the play clock inside it. Down to about seven seconds. Snaps it. Fakes to the fullback. Pitches it to his tailback from I mean a halfback on the right side who is Miller and he has a first down at the 22 yard line of uh, Honeck. It's almost like an old wishbone. You kinda almost. Have, just kinda almost like a back in there. Yep. I mean, the set wasn't, but that's the first time I've really seen us carry out that fake that well to actually stick it in that fullback's gut and then pull it out. Other than a while ago when he about got tackled. <laughs> Pies from Bowen to uh, Clark is going to go down into the end zone, a touchdown. 22-yard touchdown. Good, solid effort there by Dusty. Got a couple of good blocks. Joe Vaughn got one good block. And got a couple more. He had to make one or two miss himself. And he did. Point after attempt by Bird. Logan Bird. Snap. Kick. Officials look at each other and say good. So Gate City leads Hunnaker by a score of 46 to nothing. It's 10 seconds to go. We're ready. 22.6 tenths seconds to go. Third quarter. Gates has just scored on a 22-yard uh, touchdown pass from Nick Bowen to Dusty Clark. And the Gates City will kick off with Logan Bird. Back deep is Chaz Miller. Or have they changed? No, it's Honecker. Jerry Honecker. Line drive kick. It goes into the end zone for another touchback. So uh, Honecker will take over the own. 20 yard line. Good so. city. A lot of second teamers in there now, Larry, on the defensive side. Ty Hall in a quarterback for Honeyker. He gets a snap. Quarterback draw right up the gut. Picks up a couple, maybe to about the 22. Micah Blitzow on the tackle. They want to give him a gain of three. Makes it, make it second down and seven. Low snap as Hall. Feels it and gets tackled back at his own 20 for a three yard loss. That's the end of the third quarter after three quarters of play. It's Gate City 46, I'll make her nothing. They talk you out. Back at Carl Smith Stadium here on the University of Virginia at Wise. Start the fourth quarter of this region, the Division II championship game. Uh, they could really give a trophy to Gate City right now, I believe. 46 to nothing with a quarter to go. And it'll be third down and 10 as a snap again is low. Hall picks it up. There's a long pass down the field that is too high, incomplete. Pass intended for his back out of the backfield. Sorry, Honeck. Or for Chaz Miller, who I'm sorry, who is one of their other quarterbacks that they had in the game as a wideout. So, Honecker will have to uh, punt, as Miller has punted a number of times today. The clock is now, right? Yeah, it is now. I wonder if I just missed that earlier. Miller stands inside his five to do the punting. 
Montana Moore stands right at midfield. And Gate City moves. Yeah, I think we jumped outside. So that five yard penalty will uh, move the ball up to the 25. It'll still be four down. As the coaching staff over here is looking for a fake from all that, they don't have anything to lose, they might as well. Miller, the quarterback, does the punting. And it's it's uh snap back to the up back those pass over the middle intercepted by Gate City. Intercepted at the 36 yard line. Who did it? I don't know. I'll tell you. 85. Who was Tanner McMurray? Yeah. McDavid. McDavid did. Yeah, said wrong, wrong one. Yeah, you just knew something was coming there for them. I like the way this coaching staff over here is attentive. He said the up back suggested he's gloved. Sure enough, it was snapped to the up back. Well, it's no coincidence that we went on a football game. No, it's not. We, <laughs> we, we've got people that prepare these kids to play every week. Prepare them well. All right, some new offense in for the Blue Devils. That quarterback will be uh, Michael Collier. And they pitch it to the tailback, running wide right. He cuts it inside and gains uh, some yardage. Maybe three. Gain the four, brings up second down to four. Did you get who made the who was on the no, carry? No, I could. Couldn't see through the glass. Might have been Franklin. Probably yeah, I'd, I'd say it probably was 14. Franklin the tailback. Let's all the fullback in this set. And off to Blitzall, right up again. He may go. He's going to go. Micah Blitzall takes it all the way in the end zone for a 32 yard touchdown. Well, once we've got our second teamers in there, not going to tell them to take a knee. Not with this much time. No, sir. I mean, they wasn't. There's was a hole there. A big hole. Yeah. Snap. Point after. Up. And good. Gate City leads. Honecker by a score of. 53 to nothing. 956 to go with the fourth quarter. I'm a little fast, aren't I, Jimbo? <laughs> uh, Blue Devils have just scored again and made it 53 to nothing. Second team, Micah Blitzall is running in for a 32 yard touchdown and still a lot of time left. As Gate City will kick off back deep for Homemaker. This is going to be Jared Homemaker standing again at his goal line. And Bird kicks uh, this one a little shorter. Fielded it at the 15, up to the 20, up to the 30, and a cliff over no flag. Finally knocked out of bounds, short of the 40 at about the 41, uh, 39 yard line. Nine forty seven left here in the ball game. Gate City on top fifty three to nothing. Blue Devils will move on next Saturday to play Radford, who won last night over uh Chihuahua, fourteen to six. In the semifinal game for Division Two. As the quarterback, Hall, 
dodges a man, throws a pass, complete up to about the 47, and brought down short of a first down, right at the 47 yard line. And we've got flying across the way, and then we've got an injured Honeacre Tiger over here. I don't know what the flag is across the way, but it might be unsportsmanlike, I'm thinking. Oh, uh, Gate City? Well, I'm not sure. I, I saw the referee stepping in between a couple of people. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's what it is. It could be anything. I saw a point in the Gate City. It could be both ways, too, I guess. But we'll take a break right here while they tend to the injured player. Back at uh, football stadium, York, <clears throat> the Blue Devils had uh, stopped a uh, ice play for about a nine-yard gain. But also on that play, they had a 15-yard penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct on Gates City. It moves the ball down to the Blue Devils 37-yard line. Option, Hallnaker keeps, breaks the tackle, and finally brought down after a good run inside the Blue Devil 25 down to maybe the 22 yard line. As Montana Morris had to come up from his quarterback spot to make the tackle. Blue Devils with a lot of uh, second teamers in there right now. Hallnaker have it uh, first and ten on the Blue Devil 21. And Hallmaker or Pius over the middle incomplete. Pius from Chaz, Chaz Miller just a little bit high intended for his receiver Tyler Arrington just a little bit high. Now the clock stopped. Yeah, I don't know. Evidently, I mean, they did run it there a while ago on the incomplete pass, but evidently it's not supposed to be running. They are in the shotgun. Miller, quarterback, runs option left, gets by a man. Now options, pitches the ball to his running back who's going to go into the end zone. Cameron Keene scores a touchdown, the first touchdown from 21 yards out. So that gets uh, Holnaker on the board. Travis came in there and did that one. And Holnaker will uh, kick the extra point. Uh, that's Mackenzie Phillips that attempts a high snap. They get it down. Gate City blocks the the extra point score 53 to 6 Gate City lead. Back at Carl Smith Stadium, the uh, Hunnaker Tigers finally on the board in today's game on a 21 yard touchdown run by Cameron Smith, Cameron Keene, I'm sorry, off the option. And the uh, Blue Devil coaching staff looking for an onside kick here with 8.46 to go. Most likely, considering they did it to start the second half. Yeah. Mackenzie Phillips to do the uh, kicking chores for Honig. Uh, he sure lines it up like yeah. he's going to kick it diagonally across the field. Yeah. From uh, right to left. And he does. And the Blue Devils filled it at the 49-yard line. Filled it by Blitzall, Micah Blitzall. So the Devils cover it up, take over first and 10 at their own 49. Eight forty-four to go in the ball game. Gate City on top, 53 to six. Devils second team offense in. That quarterback will be number six, Michael Collier. Waiting on the referee's whistle. Uh, 
uh, Phillip Head, one of the running backs, fullback Micah Blitzaw, and Head goes in motion. They hand off to Blitzaw right off of the right guard, right tackle, and he fights for yardage, gets down to about the 46 yard line of uh, Holnick. Gain of about seven on that play. Eye formation this time for the Blue Devil. Corey Franklin, the tailback, oh, <laughs> has go up, bounce, slide, strong side to the left. Here it goes in motion. They pitch it left to Franklin, and that play is not going to go anywhere. As there's four white shirts there to bring Frank Franklin down for a loss. Corey need, needed to look for real estate to lay down on. That's yeah. <laughs> Get down. It's not going <laughs> That happen. didn't have a chance, did no. it? Yeah, he dropped. Uh, yeah, it's 49 yard line of home acre with uh, 7.36 to go. Third down and nine. Double wing set. Blitz all the back in the backfield. They pitch it to Franklin coming out of his wing back spot from left to right. Run. Need to block on the corner. Didn't get it. And slung out of bounds at about the 47 yard line of Hornbaker. It'll bring up fourth down to nine for the Blue Devils. And I would say they just go ahead and go for it right here. Keep the clock running. It'll be fourth down and six for. Gate City at the homemaker 47. Wide out to each side. Eye formation. As Collier looks, throws a pass over the middle that is intercepted at the 35 yard line by Homemaker running to the right side of the field. And he is finally brought out of bounds right at midfield. So. Intercepted pass gives uh, Honecker the ball first and ten at midfield. Seven oh two to go, and the ball game gets City on top, fifty three to six. I'd like to have about a half piece points next week. Oh, I'd like to have all of them. <laughs> yeah, well. Shotgun formation for Honig. As Miller's long pass down the field is too high, too long, incomplete. Franklin with pretty good coverage on that. Pass intended for uh, Blake Ray. Bring up second down and 10. Clock stops, 6.55 to go in the ball game. Ball spotted just with a nose right at midfield. Quarterback runs to his left. Breaks tackles and gets across the 45. We also got a flag on the play. It'll be short of the first down. Now we got to wait and see what the flag is. Could very well be holding on all day. Would be my guess. Gets it down to the uh, 42 of Gate City. It is holding. Oh, all day. either be what third down and about two or yeah. second down and a bunch. Yeah. Well second bunch is much better. Yeah. Spotted from so that's mark it off from a fifty. The down marker says third. third. Yeah I think I missed the play here. So it'll be third third down and twenty. Body back at the 40, be third down and 20. Uh, 
as we have an official timeout for some reason. I think you're trying to check, make sure they spotted the right place or something. I'm not 100%. They got second down over there, and I think it was a question. I thought it was second down, too, but I think I missed the play. Oh, you, you called it early and said it was second. That's what yeah. it is. Second down and 20. High snap, but uh, Miller able to bring it down. And finally, Gates said he tackles him. IP picks up uh, two or three yards up to the 43-yard line. Miller is probably the best athlete on this team for Honecker. Tremendous baseball player, pitcher. And I think in some of the stuff I read, uh, they talk about his uh, athletic ability. So uh, it's going to be third down now and about uh, 14, uh, 16. Third and 16 from a home 43. Two wide outs to each side. Miller looks, throws a long pass down the field. That's way too long. Oh. Almost intercepted by Morse. Well, that brings up fourth down. Fourth and 16. So it looks like that they're going to uh, sit in the punt team. Miller does the, uh, the punting for Honecker also. They've run a couple of fake punts today. Blue Devils don't appear like they expect this to be a punt. I'm not sending anybody back. Nah, let them kick it if that's what they're yeah. going to do. And I yeah. don't believe that's what they're going to do. I don't either. I don't think you're really going to fake it. As they're down, the, they got a five-yard penalty for delay a game. Clock ran out. Uh, hold it. <laughs> he gave a road signal. He gave a hold well, signal. That's what it looked to me like he gave him, but I guess he did. It's got to be delay again. He must have crossed his arms, but it sure didn't look like it, did it? Uh, not when you grab your wrist, it didn't look like <laughs> <laughs> Well, they've had some issues. <laughs> yeah. Right off a of bat, really. Yeah, they had. Uh, first punt of the game. I'm not sure this referee's ever been a referee. I know some of those other guys out there on the field. I know Joe's been a referee. I don't even know who the referee is, really. The guy with the white hat? Yeah. yeah. So Miller gets a snap. And he's going to throw a screen pass. That is incomplete. So Gates City will take over on down. City takes over to Homemaker 39 yard line. With 5.07.7 to go. And it seems to me like these last three minutes it took 30. Yeah. Full house for the Blue Devils. Some different people in there. Kyer hands off to his left tight back and going to be thrown for a loss back to uh, about the 42 yard line. Bo Morris on the carry that time. You want to see some, you know, you want to see some effort out of these kids, too. Yeah. A lot of them have to step up next year and fill some voids. Fullback is Seaver Elliott in this set. Pull out. Hand off to the tailback. Logan Quillen, and he gets tackled about the line of scrimmage. Gain of one, maybe, on the play. Brings up third down and 12.
Mark, an entirely different situation than the way it's been the last couple of years. They've been nail biters the last couple of years against Lebanon. Yes, sir. We've come up on the short end. But just didn't see that happening today. Collier's pass complete up to the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. And finally knocked out of bounds inside the 25. Pass complete to Chase Smith. I thought he didn't, <laughs> he didn't look like he, he believed he caught it. And was that wide open? Ball down at the uh, 17. First to 10 for the Blue Devils at the Homeacre 17 yard line. Two tight end. And off to the right half back, and he might have gained a yard down to maybe the 16 yard line. I think it was uh, Brandon Basket, 35. May have been. I did. Yeah, it was 35, I'm pretty sure. But he's second down, and I think give him two yards. Down to the 15 yard line. Pull out again, Kyer. Hands off to Bumble. The ball's fumbled, and Homemaker has recovered, I believe. Yeah. Homemaker recovers the fumble. A little mix up in the exchange there, and Homemaker recovers the fumble. <laughs> you know, I don't believe that's the first turnover of this ball game for Gates. So Honecker takes over with 2.52.6 to go. Other than the onside kick that we Yeah, passed, yeah. That's not really. I don't really that's see not, it. That's not, no, but I'm just saying that's, as far as mishandling the ball, that's. Honecker takes over at their own 19. Miller options to his right. And the Blue Devils bring him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Keen on the carry. They're going to say no gain. Back at the 19, be second down to 10. I think Homelaker has just decided now we might as well run it. Run the clock out. Another touchdown here don't make any difference. You still got clobbered. Trips on the left side, wide, one wide out to the right. Miller, the quarterback. And the uh, fakes to the fullback, keeps it on the quarterback. Sneak around the right side, goes up the sideline, and picks up a first down up about the 42 yard line. A good run that time by Chaz Miller. Picks up a first down at his own 42. Yeah, make it to 43. Minute 58 to go. Ball game. Gate City on top. 53 to 6. Chicken in the ball game for Homemaker number one, Jordan Hess. And now we just had a man leave, and that can't be right. <laughs> I mean, they had a guy come in, and a guy then just stepped off the sideline. And off to the running back, gets across the 45 to the 46. So they lined up with 12 men. One guy steps out of the That's uh, it's 53 to 6. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> We'd be a little but more It's kind of like a... Six. I know, but it's kind of like a baseball yeah. game. If it's a strike, it's a strike, right? That's exactly right. Gain of uh, about four up to the 46. Little happier faces today than the last couple of years. And, you know, we were worried about the crowd. Mark, it turned out to be a pretty good crowd for the Blue. Well, actually a pretty good crowd for the game. Of course, you got 
Clint Wood and J.I. Burton is going to kick off here in an hour or so. And we're going to have a timeout called by Honaker with 107 to go. Take it down and seven for Honaker. Ball at your own 46. And off to the fullback, nothing. Blue Devils had that smell out, throwing behind the line of scrimmage for about a two yard loss. Back to the 43. That'll bring up third down to 10 for Honig. Should be the last play coming up. Miller under center for the Tiger. Power out formation. Miller. Hands off. Ball fumbled. It's loose. Homemaker falls on it, I think, with 24 seconds to go, and that should end the ball game. The loss back to the 41. So with fourth down, the clock stopped with 18.4 to go. So we're waiting until they untangle everybody. Well, uh, Gate City recovered the fumble. You're kidding. <laughs> I didn't think there was any way, but that's what he motioned. Yeah. Oh, like a guy fell right on him. Gate City comes up with a fumble. So we'll have to go out and snap it. Take an E. Take an E, and Blue Devils will be Region D champion. And we'll move on to next week's state semifinal game. It's an old nemesis of the Blue Devils. And yeah. for Bobcats. Kyer takes the knee, and that'll be the final play of the ball game. As uh, Gate City wins the Region D Championship over the Honeaker Tigers by a score of 53-6. Yep, so next week, as we say, we'll go on the road for the state semifinal game. It'll be held at Radford High School in Radford. Game time will be 1.30 next Saturday afternoon. As the Blue Devils here wrap up another Region D championship. Their first in three years, though. Like it said, the last couple of trips not been such a happy time for the Blue Devils, not unlike today. Really, from the outset, took command of the game, and uh, really at halftime, the margin was sufficient that uh, Honecker couldn't mount much uh, of a challenge in the second half. So, certainly, congratulations to uh, Coach House Wright and all the staff. They obviously had our guys ready to go today, and uh, they played pretty well to, uh, to win here over the Honecker Tigers this afternoon. So, we'll do a pretty quick wrap-up here from uh, Carl Smith Stadium, UVA-wise. Again, next week, it's the Radford Bobcats at Radford. Game time, 1.30 next Saturday. The winner advances to the state championship game two weeks from today in Salem. So, y'all come to Radford next week. If not, we'll be here to bring a game to you for Larry Shelton, Tim Hill, Jim Benton, Mark Peters. Good afternoon.